welcome back. So today we are super excited to be sharing with you our DIY howler. So I was looking on Etsy and I found a howler that I really wanted and wanted to add to our shelves, but the price was crazy. Yeah. So I asked Sean if he can make me one. I said, yeah. <laughs> I was so excited to do this one and you guys can follow along with me. Whenever I came up with the sizing on this one, I really wanted it to match an envelope. So the actual size of this is seven inches wide. So it matches an actual five by seven envelope. So first thing you'll need is some red construction paper. I got this at a local craft store and you'll need to cut it to seven inches by eight inches. And don't throw away your scrap pieces because these will be used as a tongue later. Next, we need to glue these two pieces together. We need these pieces to be a total of 14 inches in length, so that gives us a two inch overlap. Now I'll put glue on two inches by seven inches of both pieces of paper, and then I'll join them together. Remembering to hold that total 14 inches in length that we need. Now we'll fold the paper in half. I always like to start creasing from the inside because that's the thickest part of the paper since it's overlapped and work my way to the outsides. And then I like to use the back side of my fingernail to make a nice sharp crease in the paper. Now we'll unfold it and we'll fold one corner to the crease we just made in the center of the paper and we'll make sure that the other corner has a nice point on it. Now we'll fold the other corner to the center crease in the middle of the page, making sure to line up with the other point of the other corner. Next, we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna fold it in half at the two points. We're going to flip it back over again and we're going to match one long edge to the angle and make our fold, making sure that we have a nice sharp crease. We're going to do the same thing again, but we're going to do it to the opposite side. You'll start to see that this is making the creases in the mouth. Now we're gonna fold it in half right through the center of the X. Next, we're gonna make a fold at the bottom of the jaw. This is where the teeth will be glued on later. All right, now we're gonna fold it in half and we're gonna start working on the top portion of the mouth. Where the X portion is on the mouth, we're going to go over to the left two inches, and that's where we're going to fold up 90 degrees. If you did this correctly, this will land exactly where the glue joint is on one of the paper seams. Now you'll fold from this straight edge to the angle on the other side. Once you unfold it, you'll need to make sure you go back and you work on creasing the top portion of the mouth. You want to do the same thing to the back of the mouth. You want to make sure that these folds are nice and crisp and folding in. This is a cool little trick that I use to curl the edges of the mouth. I will line up my outside corner with my center seam. I will start to pull down, letting the corner of the table curl the edge. And then I'll do the same thing on the opposite side.
it starts to get really exciting at this point because it actually resembles the Howler. You can get this printable off of our Etsy site and we'll leave a link down in the description. What you'll want to do is you'll do print out your first page and then you'll put it back in the printer facing up. Then you'll print your second page. Now you'll cut it out face up, make sure to get as close to the edge as possible. If you download this off of our Etsy page, it will have lines at the top and bottom to let you know where to make your folds. This is probably the most tedious part of the project. If you download this from our Etsy page, you already have the markings there and you know where to fold. If not, I marked a half inch spacing along the bottom of the page. Then I flipped it over and folded it up and made a half inch spacing again, but I offset it by a quarter of an inch to make sure I could get my triangles. You really want to make sure you're detailed here and take your time. Make sure your folds are nice and crisp. Again, if you download this off of our Etsy page, all your markings are already there so you don't have to do any thinking. Now we're going to make the creases in the center of the teeth. I found it easier to take the two outside corners of the triangle, touch them together, and then make my crease. Back to the edge of the table, we're going to use it to make the bottom curl of the mouth and the top. Next, I put glue on the bottom portion of the paper. Then, I stuck it to the red construction paper on the bottom jaw portion. I made sure that this was centered and right up to the edge. I started to notice that the bottom portion was wanting to unfold, so I put super glue on a piece of paper and put it back behind it and held it until it dried. I went ahead and put super glue on both corners of the mouth just to make sure that this would hold so I can keep moving forward. With the first few howlers that I made, I struggled with it wanting to hold its shape. So I came up with this idea of using some aluminum craft wire. The Etsy print off comes with the dimensions you need to make your bins in the wire. It also comes with an easy diagram for you to hold your wire up to it to make sure your bins are correct. Next we'll put super glue on the back of the mouth first and glue the craft wire into place. Now we'll put super glue on the bottom of the mouth and glue the wire to it. Next we're going to glue the wire to the top portion of the mouth. You don't need a lot of super glue here, just a little bit and you should be good. Now just a little bit of super glue on each corner, just making sure it's right up to the edge of the mouth and it's starting to look like a howler. You have no clue how excited I was at this point. Now if we need a red piece of construction paper, cut it one inch by four and a half inches. You'll cut a little triangle at the end of the tongue. Then you'll fold the other end a half inch down. This will be the portion that you glue to the back of the mouth. Using the edge of the table again to curl the tongue. Now curl the back of the tongue. Now, just a little bit of super glue and you'll glue it to the back of the mouth. Be careful, don't get bit. It's done, it looks so good. I am so excited. So if you guys enjoyed watching this DIY Howler and you guys want one for yourselves, the link to the printable is gonna be in our Etsy shop and it's gonna be an instant download. So link in the bio if you want that. Thanks for watching guys. Bye. See ya.